has going. So in my opinion, this is what solo queue should be like. So you go into the game, you start the game, lobby starts, you see the players. So all of their statistics are immediately available. And then you can, I haven't figured out the mechanism for it yet, but it's either the team can vote to keep or kick the player, to get rid of him, right? So if you have a feeder, uh, let's say everybody votes, and then you, a new player appears. So you look at the player, okay, fine, let's keep this guy. Now, the reason why this is better is because, uh, as opposed to reporting the person after the game, when you have already lost and you can clearly see he's trolling, you can just look at his statistics and be like, whoopsie, this guy is a bit of a, a bit of a feeder. So he either needs to improve his skill in normals or he needs to not play the game, not play a team game. Because if he's planning to not commit, uh, not, not put in the effort in a team game in ranked where team expects you to perform so you can collectively win the game uh, he's better off playing a single person game or go into normals improve if you want to troll fine there, there, there are other game modes where he can do that but in ranked that's the system okay and then we have this you see so again we can just and now you go into uh, I, again, I haven't really thought through the entire process yet. Because technically you can do this in a flex queue. Because this is technically a flex queue where you and your friends create a team and then you get to play it. But in solo queue, there's no mechanism for this. And again, flex queue is, I mean, you have to understand that not everybody is planning to play at the same time. So, you also have to get comfortable with players, you know, build some rapport, blah, 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 say hello, you know, otherwise they're going to delete you or whatever, right? But in here, this is random players. It's kind of like starting a business and accepting CVs, and then you're building a team that can perform well. Because at the moment, if you start a business, a league is kind of like, if you compare it to starting a business, it just gives you the first five people that applied versus there is a second business which is the other team who also get the first five people that applied so you don't really have any it's random you know what i mean like it's just it's completely random that's why games are so chaotic because people troll too much so you don't you don't have a say whether you really want to play with this person or not so i'm introducing a layer where okay if we roll a lobby and it's just like it looks like this you'll be like holy smokes right now i'm just dodging it myself but wouldn't it be awesome to have a mechanism where you can just vote on players? Like, that's a playable game. That's a playable game, straight up. Now, why is this better? Because this will balance... This will balance the, the games a lot more. Because now you have human intervention, and this happens on both sides. You have to understand, this happens on both sides. So when two people... When two... It's kind of like, sort of like a two pre-made teams, where each team thinks they're going to win, and you get a more balanced match, as opposed, because, look, like, if I look at these guys, again, I said it many times, I don't really mind playing into hard matchups, like Poppy, you know, LeBlanc, into Trindamir, are very, very difficult, as long as my players are good. I'm okay with losing a game where, you know, I got a little bit off play. Whatever, it's okay. I mean, like... The games I don't want to lose is when um, my jungler just runs into the enemy team, just dies before the dragon, they take a dragon, and then my ADC is like, we need to revenge our jungler, and then he goes and dies as well. And you think just, like, holy shit. And that's like mid-game, they go take the Baron, and now the game is probably already lost. And then jungler, as soon as he resurrects, he's just running into the Baron, and he's like, guys, why aren't you stopping the Baron? And then he just dies again, because... By the time he reaches, they have already taken the Baron. They already have the Baron, but there's five of them in there. And they just one tap him, so he dies again. And then they invade and they take all of your jungle. And you're just sitting there, like, farming 
trying to push lanes and scratching your head thinking, why am I even in this game? Like, how did these guys end up in the same lobby as me? Because I don't think I've ever done something as dumb as this, but fine, alright? So, I'll just report them at the end of the game. So, before you even get into the game, you can look at the guy and he's like 7% win rate. Yeah, so something like this. Look, he's got 14 games, 7% win rate. How do you think he loses so many games? Even in a system where engagement optimized matchmaking exists, and it will, if you are too shit for the game, it will be, it will put smurfs into your team so they can carry you. And yet he still somehow ends up losing. That's because he is literally running it down. He is the type of player that will be like, Hey, uh, let me just go and gank the support. And then, like, he just dies. And then he'll be like, Team, what are you doing? Why aren't you ganking the support? You know, like, those, those type of players that are just doing stupid shit. And they'll be like, What are you guys doing? Why aren't you following my lead? Because uh, you are 7% win rate Cassiopeia with negative KDA. That's why. Do you know what I'm saying? Look, he played 23 games, he won only 4 in 30 days. That is just... Bad CSR, bad with Cassiopeia, and he picks Cassiopeia. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just that in, in, enough is said in just looking at this. So as opposed to playing with this guy, you can be like, uh-oh. Let's say you get a new lobby, you, go, you look at him and be like, okay guys, what do you think? Do you want to play with 7% Cassiopeia? Uh, if the team agrees... You can just say adios, boys. <laughs> you clearly not committed to winning, but I'm just I'm just trolling. But okay, like you know, if if you if you have some kind of a magical Smurf on your team and he says it's fine, I'll carry him. Fine, right? The Smurf potentially can balance out Cassipia. I don't think he can, but you know, some people might be able to do it. I would personally dodge, but I mean, whatever. Like it, it's up to people. But again, what I'm saying is. As opposed to getting a loss and then reporting the dude, just don't play with him at all. So we have a mechanism where we can just reroll people, right? And then again, why the games are going to be a lot more balanced is because both you know for a fact that both teams are going to be probably good, probably going to be on champions because I can't imagine a lot of people. Well, League of Legends is kind of a. I can't really speak for the enemy team, but I can for sure agree that okay. My team is for sure going to be good, otherwise I'm just not going to play. And it will improve the quality of games because most likely people will think twice before queuing up into ranked where they might potentially be kicked off the team for being too shit to play the game, right? So he will think, eh, you know, I'm trying, maybe I'm going to try my Akali. I never played her before, there's probably a high chance somebody's going to kick me off the team. So I'm just not going to queue up into ranked, I'm going to go into normals. So the quality of game is going to improve. And now you're facing two teams that probably think they're going to win. So now you have a good game going, right? You have very balanced game. Most games are going to be a lot more balanced. Because again, both teams are filtering out the shitters. Uh, so you've got to be playing against good players, you can learn something. Because again, like uh, I played against Riven a long time ago and man, that guy just destroyed me in the lane. And I had no problem with it. I had no problem with it. Because I learned so much. I was like, holy shit. I learned then level 6 spike. So I was like, how did he kill me? <gasps> he hit level 6 before me. I was like, oh my god. I didn't even think about that. But that was way long time ago. Way, way, way long time ago. And it was like, it was a learning experience, you know? As opposed to, again, losing because your jungler just doesn't know how to smite. Or your Darius is just like saving his ult for the next game. Or Amumu is not ulting for no reason whatsoever. So I'm saying that this this is a better system. It's just my fantasies. Okay? Take care, bye-bye.